for this quarter for our mission report we will be featuring the uh, west central africa division now this division caters to 22 countries and there are about half a million people and one million adventists living in these countries and today's mission report actually comes from the country of cameroon now cameroon is a west african country almost 27 million people live there and there are almost about 1.25 lakhs, 125,000 Adventists in 1,000 churches in Cameroon. So the Cameroon Union is having about 1,000 churches. And the first Adventists who actually came to Cameroon were uh, William Harrison and T.M. French in 1926 who arrived from South Africa. Now this story, the title of the story in Cameroon is uh, Seeing God and it is about a man named Jacques. Now Jacques, uh, when he was finishing school, wanted to, there was nothing more that he wanted to do than attend the university and there was this entrance exam that you had to get through to join the university. Uh, but unfortunately, the second half of the exams were actually falling on the Sabbath. Now Jacques, being a practicing Seventh-day Adventist, took a stand not to attend those exams and in fact he went and told his teachers, like, I'm not going to do these exams on Saturday. Now these teachers tried to convince him, they told him you have to do this exam otherwise you cannot get into the university. But Jacques was steadfast in his resolve. And he said, tomorrow if you don't see me here, I will be in church. And then when they realized that he was serious about not coming for his exams, they began to mock him. And they started calling him a priest. They started calling him as a priest Jacques. So as Jacques decided the next day, he decided to fast and spend the Sabbath fasting and praying. He went to church and attended the church on Saturday. Now, Jacques was actually baptized about a year before all this happened. And when he had, was baptized, he took a strong decision to follow all the commandments of Christ. Now, after sundown of Saturday, Jacques walked all the way to the exam center. But the exam center was closed. All the exams were over. There was nobody there. So Jacques went back home and really wondering what was he going to do because this was the only way he was going to get into a university. The next day, early morning, Jacques on Sunday morning again went and walked down to the testing center. But nobody was there. He waited there the whole day, but nobody turned up. Dejected, Jacques again went back home and spent the night. Next morning, he again walked back to the center, early in the morning, and he began to sit and wait over there. Finally, some of the teachers and students arrived, and they were preparing to release the results of the exam. And at around midday, the director of the exam center came to check out if everything was okay. And he asked the teachers, is everything okay? And once again, the teachers didn't lose the opportunity to, to mock at Jacques and said, everything is fine, sir, except for Mr. Priest here, who didn't take up the exams. Now the director decided like, you know, why don't you take the exams now? I mean, the teachers are here. Uh, go ahead, let him allow, allow him to take them. And Jacques was immediately elated because he got a suddenly a chance to take the exams that he had missed. Now the first exam was the English teacher. Now this English teacher uh, took out a book that Jacques had never seen before and gave it to Jacques and told him to read. Now Jacques, since he was not familiar with the book, he began to stumble. And the English teacher said, you, you, you cannot do anything, you, you can't pass, you're not able to do anything. And he began to walk out. Jacques was pleading to the teacher, teacher, please give me some other book which I practiced. I didn't even see this book before. But the teacher was not listening. Now, as the teacher was approaching the door, the teacher suddenly felt like somebody was pulling him from the back. It wasn't Jacques, but he felt like he couldn't move. He couldn't move out of the door. He was just standing there at the door and stuck there. And he said, he suddenly said, don't worry. The moment he said, don't worry, he felt he could move out and he moved out of the door. Now, Jacques didn't know what to make out of it. Why did he say, don't worry? He was not too, he was not able to understand clearly. Anyway, the next teacher came in. Now, this teacher was going to teach social studies and uh, geography, history, and government. And, but this teacher straight away decided to straight away mock Jacques. He, he was not interested in giving him the proper exam. So straight away he said, my gentleman of the Sabbath, what is the Sabbath? And he was actually mocking Jacques. But Jacques decided, you know what? I'm going to take this as an exam question and I'm going to answer it truthfully. And he said about Sabbath, how it is the Ten Commandments of the God. He actually proceeded to take the Bible from his bag. But the teacher was, you know, getting a little agitated. He said, keep the Bible. You know, you're brainwashed. You're brainwashed by your church. Uh, you, uh, the government is more important than religion. But Jacques decided to disagree and said, no, the government is not more important. Uh, 
you know, religion is very important. Now, as this was going on, the first teacher walked in and said, Jacquez, exam's over, you can walk out. Uh, you can leave. And that was it. Jacquez was very dejected. You know, he didn't see the way the exam went. He was sure he was not going to pass. He went home. And in the evening, he came back again for the results. Now, as he was walking to the exam center, a car stopped nearby. And when he turned and saw, he saw it was a teacher, the first teacher, the English teacher. And the English teacher rolled down the window and said, Jacquez, rejoice. He just said that and he, and he proceeded. Now, Jacquez was really, is this guy still uh, making fun of me and, you know, teasing me? But, you know, he, he went there not knowing what to think about it. He went to the exam center and there they were announcing the names of all the students who had passed. And to his su sudden surprise, his name was announced. He couldn't understand how, how, did, how was my name announced? And he immediately thanked God. That was the first thing he did. The moment he finished thanking God, let me find the teacher. The teacher decided to pass me. And he went and found the English teacher. And the English teacher said, I told you rejoice. You thought I was joking, right? I know, but why did you pass me? We wanted to fail you, but we don't know why we just passed you. We, we really don't know why. And that was a miracle. And Jack was always looked back to that day. And he said, there was God in the room. I've seen God in the room on that day. And so, um, today Jack was 56 years old. And there are many members with such motivating stories about how they decided to keep the Sabbath. Many of us would have had the similar trials where we were forced to decide on how we were able to keep Sabbath and serve God. And so, the 13th Sabbath offering for this quarter, part of it will be going to uh, to, to put a, set up an elementary school, a bilingual school in Cameroon. And uh, we encourage all of you to, 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 to provide a good offering for this project. Thank you.